Yes, that's the annual session, also known as the tea session. Starting from Friday, China is holding one of the most important events on its political calendar. Yes, that's the annual sessions of China's top legislature and national political advisory body, also known as the Two Sessions. It offers outsiders a great opportunity to see China's whole process, people's democracy, at work. During this year's Two Sessions, more than 5,000 lawmakers and political advisors have gathered in Beijing. What exactly will they do during the two sessions? They participate in the deliberation and administration of state affairs to find solutions to problems. From education, healthcare, to environment and economy, they will pull their wisdom into every aspect of China's major policies to meet the people's demand for a better life. What do people think of democracy in China? Here's what foreign experts say. Democracy originally right, meant rule of the people and by the people. Actually, the, the two sessions are an example of this. This is multi-tiered, right? No single person can just influence the, the, the control the whole process. How is China's democracy different from that of the West? The socialist democracy with Chinese characteristics runs through all processes, including election, consultation, decision-making, management, and supervision. That's why it's called the whole process people's democracy. It goes far beyond the options of campaigning and voting, which are seen as the defining characteristics of democracy in the West. La democracia tiene que ser útil a ir a resolver los intereses de la mayoría de la población. Tiene que hacer más felices, trazar un camino donde se les resuelva los problemas fundamentales de la población. China ha demostrado con su sistema democrático que está cumpliendo con ese requisito. So I think the China's democratic system speaks for itself. The fruits are there for people to see. Uh, under the leadership of the CPC, we see that in a hundred years, it has lifted all the people from extreme poverty and it has brought the country to the second largest economy in the world. As they say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. What are the big priorities for China? Tackling poverty, tackling homelessness, protecting people's health, ensuring people are protected from the pandemic, dealing with pollution, developing renewable energy, cracking down on corruption, improving the education system, and generally improving people's lives. This is people's democracy. This is socialist democracy. Listening to the people, mobilizing the people, meeting the needs of the people, and developing their human rights. Just as some experts say, there's no perfect democracy, only democracy that fits the best. The China's model of democracy has proven to be workable and effective in the country.